Hi everyone, hope that you are well. Um, today I will um, speak about the street lighting as it was requested um, in your comments. Um, so let's start the uh, street lighting um, simulation. So now we have um, a different layout, I would say, first of all, to the indoor applications. Um, it's more simple, I would say. Um, we have on the down part uh, a street street uh, and then we can also play uh, a 3d but it's nothing uh, appealing let's say it's just yeah a normal street um, on the upper part i would say we have different roads create new roads duplicate road or duplicate road with luminar arrangements um, and i will start with the standard so here we have street lighting different uh, standards than than in um, that in indoor application very important is to know that we have uh, from the 13,201 um, five five parts um, I mean this is the part one is what, what we have here in uh, stated in the dialogues is only the selection of the lighting classes part two is related to the performer requirements part three is calculation of performance part four is methods of measuring lighting performance and five which is related to energy performer indicators so if you want to perform a, a design for street lighting i will advise you to go and download from uh, uh, these standards um, have a look uh, search in uh, via google and uh, learn more about all the uh, the lighting parameters which actually are being used in street lighting and let's start with the lighting parameters you see here that we have new parameters totally new or different let's say than the indoor first of all instead of uh, luminance we have illuminance so we the illuminance it's measuring it's measured in candela per square meter so if i choose a road class m4 you see the parameters over here but if i go to m1 you see that values are updating so you have uh, for each class road you have a different value so first is the illuminance new then we have the U O, which is uniform, overall uniformity, U L, which is uh, threshold uh, uh, uniformity on the longitudinal aspect, and then uh, we have the T I, which is the threshold increment, which in indoor application you have the U G R, which is the unified glaze ratio, and then we have a new parameter, which is the IER, which is replacing actually the surround rate ratio, which was SR. So the new one, IER, is about the edge illuminance ratio. So all these lighting parameters, as I said, they are new. Um, and you need to go through all these standards to have a, a, a look and yeah, learn, learn them. In addition, what is important also to know is that you have different uh, road classes. So from M1 to M6, we are referring to more to motorized, um, uh, motorized uh, road classes, like, for example, highways, uh, extra urban roads, you know, when you have traffic. And when we go, for example, P1 to P6, is more we're referring more to the pedestrian um, or cycling use, residential roads um parking area sidewalks so different light uh, levels for each uh, uh, of the class roads and if you go on the c to co to c5 we are referring to junctions commercial roads historical city centers roundabouts and yeah and if you have the s1 or it's also classes is referred to pedestrian and cycleways um, and if you, for example if you choose now you see the parameters on the m so on motorized and if you go on the p1 for example which is pedestrian 
and cycling wheels you have different parameters and also what is very important is that on the pedestrian and the P1 to P6 you have the vertical illuminance, semi-cylinder illuminance and the threshold calculation. If you are wondering why do we have this um, like parameters and it's good to check all these boxes when you do a, a calculation you see that it's popping up here it's for the safety reason so it has an impact on the facial recognition because people are walking and during the night or uh, late noon and also um, cycling so you need to offer safety for those people so that's that's a very important aspect when you when you choose this luminar next let's choose the m3 roadway and let's run a calculation um, here on the road width a number of lane for example you can put nine meters the width of the road and then you can put for example four lanes so for here you actually uh, establish the type of uh, let's say the characteristics of the of the road which for which you want to establish or propose the lighting solution i'll go back to let's say eight meters i will do a let's say a basic calculation two lanes and then i will go for um for the lighting so i just click on the on the luminar aspect i already imported or choose a luminar uh, for my calculation i will just add the luminar will take a couple of seconds just to be added and well let's see here we have an arrangement type on let's say right side left side so one single row of poles you have two rows which you can use or you can have an offset of course the other two are the um, two rows and offset it will be more expensive usually in most cases you have just um, one on one side being more more cheap let's say very important aspect is also all how um that what how is the light center height what does it mean uh, how is calculate or measure it uh, what is the light overhang poles distance from roadway the boom length and boom angle all these parameters are explained in this um, image so have a look on it try to understand it because it's very important when you do a lighting uh, simulation and um, the outcome of it and down we have a pole distance this is the optimized like 15 meters is the distance between the two poles then we have here a minimum 10 up to 50 meters of course this value can be changed based on your um, criteria of calculation or uh, let's say real situation uh, on the on the street here you have the light center i will let it eight meters and here you can also put for example you have um, two luminaires on one pole then you place you can add here two or three whatever is the situation that you are facing it and after all these values are checked um, you have already the luminaire here you see the type of the luminaire and the voltage and then you just click on the let's say calculator or button and then the calculation will be done and you see automatically a change related to the pole distance so for 15 which was let's say the beginning before the calculation now um, we have a new value which is 90 meters so automatically the software is telling us that the optimized distance between the two poles is 19 meters and not 15 as it was previously for this type of luminaire with these characteristics and if you click on the results then we shall see that we can place or in our lighting design we can go up to maximum 90 meters distance between the two luminaires so even we had the 50 the maximum we can just reach 90 so if you and here you see that fulfilled so all the lighting parameters in this setup in this configuration you can see can be met but if you want for example or you have a reality a distance between two poles of 25 meters 
this luminaire is not suitable for that. So you need to use a luminaire with a higher luminous flux. Because this one, it can go only up to 90 meters. And a part of documentation, here we can see actually the values, uh, the maximum distance between the two poles, which is 19 meters, the norm here, based on the light class, some information related to the luminaire, um, all the details that I explained in the, in the image related to the overhang, the distance between the pole and roadway, um, slope angles, and here we have the characteristics of the class road M3, and which are for film. So we need to be higher than 1 or equal, so here we are 1.02, so quite very, very close, but everything else is for film. So this information can be used. Additionally, you see um, result summary, um, table, isoline, a value chart. And this information can be saved as PDF or can be printed. So that's all for today related to the street lighting. If you like this video, um, give a like, subscribe to my channel. That will help me. And also for you will be beneficial to uh, stay tuned with uh, my new videos which I will post it related to lighting design. Thanks again and have a good day.